On March 20th, 2023, the Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, a petty, race-hustling, insignificant political party in South Africa, which has no desire to govern, merely to disrupt the offshoot of the angry, naughty children, the African National Congress, is threatening a national shutdown across South Africa. And you can see in this video, now they're openly calling on violence, threatening the public, telling them if they don't shut their businesses down, they will be looted, they will be sacked, they will be burned. I say to you, close down all your businesses to avoid the looting. Close down all your shops to avoid the looting. Close down all your factories to avoid the looting. Close down everything. Nothing will be operating on that day. We are avoiding the looting. So we are saying to you, come and join the march, my brother. Come and join the march, my sister. They will be sacked. They will be burned. This lawlessness is tolerated by a corrupt government led by the African National Congress. This is a threat, a direct threat to South Africans. On the 20th March, when there's violence and people defend their properties against these thugs, let's see how they paint this picture. Will they call Indians racist for chasing blacks? Will they call whites racist for defending their homes? Probably. But the real racism, the real bigotry, the real domestic terrorism is in the hands of the economic freedom fighters right here. They are the ones. They are the ones threatening violence. No one else. No other South Africans are out threatening violence. It's the economic freedom fighters publicly with loudspeakers warning people. Now, some may say, Chris, you're being hyperbolic and you're overreacting. They're simply offering people warning that someone's going to attack their property. Well, how do they know that? And whose event is this? Is the EFF calling, coming out at warning people that some other group is going to have a national shutdown on the 20th March and that they're in jeopardy? No. No. This is the EFF's doing and they're threatening people. Make no mistake about it. Make mistake about it. it is a domestic terrorist threat. And it'll be tolerated in the lawless land of South Africa.